ever got played? Like, have anyone ever cheated on y'all? I'm telling you, like, it's the it's not a good feeling whatsoever. It's like, what did I do? Or what is it about me? Like, what the hell? Hi, Waves. It's me, Breezy. If you guys are new, welcome to Breezy's World. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Join the family. Become a wave of mine. So I know you guys are looking at the title like, what the heck happened, Brittany? I didn't get cheated on by my husband. Otherwise, he wouldn't be my husband. Just being honest. No, but I wanted to tell you guys about the time I got cheated on and the person got caught up. This day was shysty, shady, scandalous, whatever. And let me just, yeah, let me just get into the video and just tell you guys what the heck happened. So I'm 18 years old, fresh out of high school, got me a little part-time job. I am, so this is 2007. So I was with this person, let me give this person a name. Um, Cody. Mm. So Cody, I was with Cody at the time and I think we were together for a year or almost a year. So before I get into this actual day, let me just give you guys a background of, of these people that I am going to include in this story. Two weeks before this day, I was in TJ. I was in Tijuana with my uncle, my little sister, and my aunt. And we was out there uh, for a few days. Or a couple of days I can't really remember but anyways I was in TJ I had no good service on my phone so I couldn't get through to anyone I couldn't get on aim and if you guys don't know what aim is you guys are just obviously too young but aim is America online like instant it's instant messenger if you have a sidekick aim was what you was on all the time it's like you can talk to whoever you want on there and what everyone liked most about aim was you can do a um, you can put up an away message so people can write to you but you're not going to see it until your away message is put away but if they write you and that away message is up you get to see everything that this person wrote and you know you get to put your own little icon picture so people will put pictures of whoever they're with or their crush or them or whatever so um when i was finally able to get through to someone i was talking to my fable which you guys should know who that is, Jasmine. She's been in my previous vlogs. But I was talking to my Favo, and she was just like, who's this girl all on Cody's away message in Icon? So I was just like, what? Like, it's not me? And she was like, no. She was like, it's not you. It's some other girl. Also, on away messages, sometimes people, um, booze or whatever, they'll write. And the person will post it on their away message or whatever. So I guess in this case, that's what happened. The girl wrote the away message. So Cody, Cody knew I didn't have any service. So Cody knew I couldn't get on AIM and I wasn't going to be able to see this. So I guess Cody figured that was the right time to do it then. And I'm asking my favorite, like, what does this person look like? Is there a name or whatever? So she told me the name and the name was very familiar because that was the person I had previously cursed out and told that person that you're calling all these little nicknames, nicknames that I should be calling them, is taken. Um, that person belongs to me and I will appreciate if you watch what you say to them. And so the person was like, oh, I didn't know you were with them and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, you're all up on their MySpace page. You do see that big ass picture of me. How do you, I mean, who do you think I am, their sister? First off, this person was a little kid, y'all. I'm 18 years old. This person was like 14, a, a, in, in ninth grade. This person was 14 years old. So I'm four years older than this person. The person that I'm with is two years older than me, which makes that person six years older than this ninth grader. Why is your old ass talking to a ninth grader? I was completely lost and confused. Like, what's going on? Or is this ninth grader delusional or taking things the wrong way i wasn't too sure i was kind of lost and confused but anyways i i said something to both of them because i'm just like how do you not know this person is in a relationship when you can see my big ass picture on the page and the status so i was just like are you dumb are you stupid like how do you not know about me and then i got on cody cody tells me well 
I can't control what people say or I mean what people call me and I say yeah you can you can tell them and if that don't work you can block them I was young and kind of dumb but I knew that I knew better than what this person was saying to me so I was just like whatever brushed it off okay so now going back to this day when this person got caught my cousin hits me up and is like oh such and such is having a bonfire um do you do you and Cody want to go so I was like, okay, well, I know Cody is sick, but let me ask anyways. So I'm telling Cody, oh, such and such from, you know, the high school we went to is having a bonfire. Do you want to go? So Cody agreed to go in. So then maybe two hours later, the girl that I had to check, the little the little 14-year-old, right? Her best friend had been hitting me up for like now it, it was probably like a month or two that this person been hitting me up or whatever and and so her best friend hit me up and was just like breezy what are you getting into today so i'm like i'm going to a bonfire at Boca chica beach so the best friend was just like oh is it like invite only or can anybody go and i was like no i mean if you want to come you can go so the person said, well, you know, I'm going to bring my best friend with me. And I was just like, okay, that's fine. And I, I seriously was just like, that's fine because I don't have any issues with the little girl anymore because I said what I said to her. I don't know if Cody was talking to this person when I wasn't around, but as far as I know, that day I said something to Cody, that was it. I didn't have any more issues with this little girl. So I was just like... You know, because I don't hold grudges. So I was just like, yeah, I mean, you can bring her. I don't care. Like, it's a bonfire. Anyone is invited, you can come. So she was like, all right, cool. Well, then we'll see you then. So I'm like, all right. Like, 15 minutes later, Cody calls me, right? Babe, I'm sick. I don't feel good. I'm not going to make it to the bonfire. So I was just like, okay. I told my cousin, I was like, I don't want to go then. My cousin was like, why? And I said, well, Cody's sick and you know i'm just gonna stay home so then she was like all right so then i hit up the best friend and i told the best friend um i'm not going i'm not going to the bonfire anymore so but she was like why not i had told cody that me and my best friend was coming that you said it was okay if we come so then i was like oh no wonder why cody called me acting like Cody was so so sick because Cody Cody got a phone call from a best friend saying that I invited them to the bonfire. That let me know that Cody was still talking to that little girl. So I was just like, okay, because why wouldn't you want to go to the bonfire? Because I invited them. Something is not adding up. So the best friend was like, dang, we were trying to get into something. So I'll just hit you up if you know we find something to do and see if you you want to come with us. So I was like, okay. So later on in the day, the best friend hits me up and it's like, oh, we're going to this party in LA or I think it was Compton or LA somewhere. And she said, do you want to come? Do you want to, you want to come hang with us? So I thought I was like, oh no, no thanks. I'm cool. I'm just going to stay home. So she was like, okay. Later that night, the best friend hits me up and it's loud. You, I can tell the best friend is at the party and all this stuff. So the best friend is like, Breezy, you sure you don't want to come? Cody's here with us. And when the best friend said Cody was with them, I was like, what did you just say? Cody is with us. And I was like, tell Cody I said that we're fucking done. Don't fucking call me no more. So the best friend was like, wait, so y'all was still together? Like, I thought you, I thought y'all weren't together anymore. And no, we were together. Not no more. I was like, fuck Cody. And... The best friend was like, oh shit, Cody gonna have to find a way home because that shit's not cool. Like, Cody telling my best friend that y'all not together or whatever and got my best friend thinking that they're together. I was hot. Like, this person tried to fucking play me. No, well, this person did fucking play me. From that day on, I just, I've always looked at that person in a different type of way. Like, me and that person used to be friends before and like that's not even my homie no more instead of being honest and just saying hey look i don't want to be with you anymore 
because that's what it ended up being. I'm just trying to figure out why this little ass kid though. Like why a ninth grader? I basically got played for a ninth grader, y'all. Like now I laugh about it because it's like, dang, dude, like really a ninth grader? But hey, I guess I was too old for that person. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already check out my previous videos to make it easier for you guys i have a playlist so if there's if you want to watch pranks challenges advice daily vlogs hair tutorials what else i got on here just you can go to the playlist pick whatever category that you want to check out and just watch my videos i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching my video if you don't already follow me on instagram breezy wise and i'll see you guys later become a wave of mine by subscribing and make sure you guys follow me on social media and check out the previous video of my hair wash routine and i'll see you guys soon